What do you think there? Half inch? See? That was really easy. So I'm just gonna pop this one off and tighten that back up. Well, I don't want to come off of there. There we go. Tighten that back up so it doesn't go anywhere. Look at that though. That's all like rotted. That whole post is like rotted out. All right, so we are, well, I'm not gonna use these pastures, uh, at least not for for animals. So I think we're gonna turn one into a soccer field and oh, some of these things are just in the way. Like this section of fence, or what was a fence at one point, is, is inconvenient for me. And uh, I'm trying to be selective on what I take out. Uh, this gate is, is annoying. You can take those two gates out over there up by the the barn and then pull out all these posts and the railing and um, clean it up. I think this can just be open. The fence, if we were going to use it, I mean, it's it's getting close to be needing to be entirely rebuilt. It's not in very good condition at all. Kind of the, you know, the aesthetics of it, it's, it's kind of, it's nice to look at. It's pretty for the setting and everything else, but uh, we're going to keep it around until it probably just completely crumbles, but uh, not for any animals. Well, so I am going to use the skid steer with the forks on it to, uh, to lift all these gates out and stack them up somewhere. You gotta find somewhere to stack them. And then uh, I'm gonna put on the, the post puller, the tree puller on the skid steer and pull out all these posts. Got all these posts here to pull out. I uh, got these T-stakes too, which that precision puller is supposed to have a T-stake section on it as well uh, to, to rip these out so I think it's gonna yeah it's kind of satisfying you know pulling this stuff out if you've taken a bunch of posts out before by hand it is not a fun manual process so having something that can do it quickly is, is pretty cool so I did disconnect this uh, this wire and I gotta get this out of here so he had electric fencing going through the previous owner did for his cattle I just want to get this all out. I could cut it off, but I'm just going to coil it up. And then I can cut it off at a later date. Well, that is unless this becomes too annoying to pull out. Courtney's busy with a, another contractor here. It's it's endless, the interruptions here. So in an effort to get something done, I pulled out the wire, verified that the other two gates can be pulled up. He was talking about getting the grapple to knock off the this horizontal uh, section here. And uh, since I accidentally pulled one off, I think this stuff's so rotted that I'm not gonna, I don't think it's a tractor necessary job. This is just a rubber mallet. I have a hammer inside. Should take no time at all. Kind of an old farmstead around here. Not old. Well, it is old. This property I know was subdivided off of uh, a lot bigger chunk of land. And we found some old hay equipment that's not salvageable. It's, you know, just kind of the old stuff you find hidden in the weeds. Out there, it's uh, Pretty cool to see. But then the most previous, you know, the most most recent owner, he had his own set of stuff. You know, there's uh, different things for cattle. There's extra fencing, uh, water, water uh, troughs, feed troughs, other random things. Uh, Spools of wire, all, all kinds of stuff, you know. Be careful with this one here. What we got going on here? Oh, okay. Off. We're off on both. Yeah, we're clear on both sides here. We're good. 
So yeah, so you know now it's uh, the next generation, right? And I've got different plans myself. I'm I'm not into the bar and animals. I don't think our our life is so darn busy right now. I got my own animals, my kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> so <laughs> I don't I don't say that in a bad way. It's kind of funny. But we're busy with sports and uh, you know business and life. Kind of, you know, we like to travel, things like that too. And if you want to travel, it's not it's not easy having animals. You got to try to find somebody else to watch it for you and that kind of thing. And uh, I don't know. There's always different stages in life. We might we may end up with some, some chickens, um, maybe some goats, something like that. Time will tell. Now I'm just using pallet forks for this and. Um, now these pallet forks are technically underrated for this skid steer by a lot. These are the forks that I use on my Kubota tractor, you know, other, you know, like an L series tractor. You can use mine, M series, all that kind of stuff. And the other thing that's nice, if you're inclined to be a little lazy at times like myself is these forks here one of the reasons I went to them instead of throwing on the hydraulic forks is I've got the the hydraulic skid steer quick attach which means that uh, I don't have to leave the cab I can go right up to these I could drop the bucket and go right up to these forks and hook up without ever leaving the cab because there's no other hydraulic connections so that's hard to beat show you here I'll drop these I'll drop these off never have to leave the cab now I will have to leave the cab what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go hook up that tree puller after this I'll have to leave the cab to hook up the hydraulics on there but uh, this is pretty nice don't anticipate this is gonna be much of a chore for uh, this guy oh yeah smooth like butter uh, broke off down in there somewhere no yeah, that's fine as long as it's uh, Below grade. Let me see. What do I want to do here? I guess I'll try to make a pile in one area. Now this tree puller, you can use it on skid steer. You can also use it on a uh, a larger a larger tractor. Um, obviously, this is an e easy chore for it. We kind of highlighted it previously on on trees, on real trees, right? So a lot of uses for it. guys was the uh Scott yeah, let me see where's it at on the end here I suppose it's supposed to be a T post puller try that out here I don't like if you have to grab it at a certain angle or well I guess that angle works pull all those out you know Chris was out here I had a contractor show up there for a minute I had to go deal with that and uh Chris is out here pulling the rest of that, that wire off, put it by hand, and yeah, this drive you probably couldn't do by hand. It's kind of all rotted out and everything anyways, but uh, boy, this shit makes it easy. Yeah, that's an angle right there. That doesn't, that doesn't work. It's a different angle I got to come at. I just got lucky the last handful of times. I don't know. Let's try it this way. Here we go. You do have to grab it at a certain, a certain angle. I tell you though, these T-posts, those aren't fun to take out. That's making life easier, huh? You know? Figure I'll probably try to save the T-posts. I'll use them somewhere. But not the, uh, not that wood. Pretty quick work though, all things considered. That's the thing you gotta be careful with. It's good steer. It is a nice dry day. But you don't want to rip the ground more than you have to. June, come here. Come on, June. Come here. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come here. Ooh, ball. 
your such a goofball. Who are you talking at me for? You don't talk at me. All right, folks, a nice little afternoon project there. Actually went off without a hitch. Pretty darn smooth. I, I like it, just gotta get a brush hog and cleaned up here. Now, I don't think we're gonna be able to, I coiled up that, that wire there. I don't think we'll be able to reuse that. It's buried pretty good underneath this uh, drive that goes across, so I'm just gonna snip it off and then uh, do the same thing on the other end and, and get it back to the barn. We'll, we'll redo that if we ever need to use it in the, in the future, so no big deal there. So anyway, a good look. You got to see Pallet Forks today, that tree puller, and then the grapple as well. A lot of stuff going on. It's fun to have multiple machines. Uh, you can see some of the damage we did here with the skid steer. You gotta be careful with that. And so definitely wanted to switch over to uh, the, the Summit tractor when I had the chance. And this right here, we haven't shown this a whole lot. Uh, trying to feature it more because it's I, I love this grapple right here. This is a Summit grapple. Um, just got this in not too long ago, so trying to get kind of a better feel for it, but I love the design. Uh, keeps the load nice and close. I think it's around 260 pounds, so it's a lightweight one. They'll have different widths though, that, so the weight will vary too, but uh, a cylinder on either end. It's a single jaw, like a clamshell top and bottom. Uh, super easy to use. So something comes standard with a diverter uh, to run your grapple up front, all right? And we've, we've talked about this before, but it's probably worth a, a quick refresher. And 
there's a, a, a true third function and then there's a diverter. And so uh, a true third function is definitely gonna be more expensive and typically found on uh, machines with a, a larger hydraulic flow. So uh, small compacts, subcompacts, that kind of thing, oftentimes they're gonna have a diverter instead. And so what a diverter does is it's going to divert or redirect flow from the curl roll function, like if you had a bucket on, it's gonna take the flow from that, you push a button, in this case on top, and then when you rock the joystick back and forth, it's going to open and close the jaws of the grapple. You release the button, it goes back to the curl roll function. So uh, Summit Hydraulics does this for their aftermarket hydraulic solutions. Uh, Summit Tractors has that included on their tractor. Um, and even some of the OEM solutions are like that as well for various manufacturers. Now the Summit Grapple is not something that I sell. You can get that right from Summit Tractors, their website on there, they'll ship it right to you. The tractors are available mass retail, a small rollout this year in the fall of 2022, a big rollout at retail coming next year in 2023. But as far as that tree puller, as far as pallet forks, all sorts of other grapples, other attachments for your front end loader and your three point hitch, that's what we do. We sell and ship attachments all over the country for, for skid steers, for tractors. We even have stuff for ATVs and UTVs as well. We'd love to help you out. Give us a shot. Check out goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, well, we'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. It is completely free. And I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.